Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about what is myopia, hyperopia, and astigmatism. Now, these three things are considered what's called refractive error. It's not a disease, it's not anything that can kill you, it just means that you need glasses. All of these three things. Um, so, in a normal eye, if your eye is normal, the, the light, the incoming light uh, represented here, the incoming light, um, right here you see these rays, is supposed to get what's called refracted or bent. Uh, and the focal point should land right on the retina, exactly on the retina. So that's when you have perfect vision, and you won't need any eyeglasses or contacts. Uh, so again, the light comes in and gets bent or refracted right on the retina, as you can see in this figure. For hyperopia, now hyperopia over here, hyperopia is also known as farsightedness. Farsightedness. In hyperopia, the rays are bent beyond beyond the retina so here you can see it's right on the retina which is this this reddish um, uh, circle here it's called the retina and, and in hyperopia the rays are, are focused beyond the retina right here beyond the retina behind the retina here it's right on the retina here it's behind the retina and that's called farsightedness or hyper Opia. To correct for it, you need glasses or contacts. Now, in hyperopia, you are farsighted, you always have a positive number in your eyeglass or contact lens prescription. So, for example, you're a plus 3.00. In Optometry, we always write numbers in three digits. So here you could be a plus three or a plus five uh, or plus fifty, I meant plus fifty plus zero point five zero. This means that you're hyperopic or you're far sighted. So a plus, you see a plus in there, you're far sighted. The opposite, myopia, you're near sighted. So what happens is that the light rays, over here, the light rays fall in front of the retina, in front of the retina. So you need a minus lens, a minus lens, minus. And if, if you have a minus lens in your contact, um, if you have a minus lens in your eyeglasses, you know you're nearsighted, you know, minus 3.00, minus 1.00, minus... 2.25 then you know you're you're nearsighted which means you can't see far you can't see far with farsightedness depends on your age if you're young enough and you have a small amount of farsightedness you you're able to see far and close it's a little a little complicated with farsightedness but for nearsightedness, you cannot see far. You cannot see far. Things are blurry at far. You need glasses for far. For, for if you're far sighted, you might need glasses for near. You might not. Uh, depends how old you are. This depends on the severity of it. So those terms, the far sighted term can be a little confusing. Uh, just know that you're far sighted if you have a plus, plus lens or plus contact lens prescription or plus eyeglass prescription uh, and, and nearsighted is a little easily to, easy to understand it just means that you can't see far, you need eyeglasses for far and you need contacts for far now astigmatism I you know patients ask me all the time what is astigmatism well you know it's very frustrating because it's it's kind of hard to explain to someone what is astigmatism within you know one minute of the exam room. So, in Latin, 
the the a the a here right here in a stigmatism means without, uh, and the stigmatism in, in Latin the Latin root of it means point. So a stigmatism means without a point. So what happens is the shape of the cornea is it's not completely round. So instead of having one focal point as you do here, right? you have two focal points two as you can see light comes in to focus point at two different points that happens because the cornea is not completely spherical shaped and I have a picture here here here's a very good picture of a cornea with astigmatism and without astigmatism so without astigmatism is uniform the, the cornea is uniform uh, horizontally is uniform vertically. It's round like a baseball. A cornea with astigmatism, the eye is longer. Okay, the eye is longer. Uh, it's longer horizontally, and it's more curved um, vertically. So because of that, you have two focal points, not just one. Not just one. Here you see one focal point. You have two focal points. So, so when if if you have astigmatism, then your eyeglass prescription will have three numbers. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, let's say it's a uh, a minus one, okay, um, a minus two at axis one eighty. Now, if there's three numbers here, then you know you have stigmatism. In optometry, there's only one number. You can only have one number or three numbers. You can't have two. So your eyeglass prescription or your contact lens prescription will only have one number or three, never two. If you have three, you know you have a stigmatism. Now, what these three numbers mean that's a little more complicated. That's something that you will learn if you went to optometry school. But very quickly, it means the power of each axis. So here, it's called an optical cross. So it represents the curvature of the cornea. So here, what this means is that at 180, at the, uh, 180 you're minus 1 over here. And at 90, 90 degrees away from that, you are minus three minus three so that's a little more complicated that's something you know if, if you want to go more detail you will have to go to autonomy school you can just um, leave a comment below I can make a video about that but that's what it means so this number represents this optical cross and it actually it represents uh, what you have over here so with this cornea you can get a prescription coin like this where it's steeper in the vertical meridian is steeper over here in the vertical meridian that's why I have minus 3 here and it's not as steep in the horizontal meridian you got minus 1 here so all astigmatism means all it means is that your cornea which is the front part of the eye clear part of the eye is shaped more like a football instead of a baseball and you have three numbers in your prescription. Now, you can have a combination of these three. Uh, you know, there's no law out there that says that you have to be myopic, you have to be hyperopic, and you have to have astigmatism. You can have what's called compound myopic astigmatism, what you have over here, where you have two minus numbers. You can have you could have what's called mixed astigmatism, which is something like this, where you have minus 1 plus 2 axis 180. Now, optometrists, optometrists write cylinder, which, which is the middle number, is called cylinder uh, in minus. Ophthalmologists write cylinder, which is the middle number, in positive. Um, so just just you know just so you know it might be a little confusing when you go to an optometrist or an ophthalmologist they write a little differently the prescription of the eyeglasses might be a little different but here you have what's called compound 
myopic astigmatism. Remember that with myopia, you have a minus number, so it makes sense. You have compound myopic astigmatism. Here you have mixed astigmatism. So you have myopia here with a minus, and you have hyperopia with a positive. You have mixed astigmatism. Um, you know, again, if, if you want to calculate the, the power of the meridians, that's a little more complicated. That's reserved for optometry score. But if you see two plus uh, numbers uh, in, in ophthalmology, if you see two plus numbers, then you know you have compound hyperopic astigmatism. You have two minus numbers, uh, you will have compound myopic astigmatism. Uh, there's something called simple astigmatism also, which is, uh, you know, what it is is just plain. Uh, this PL means zero, plano means no eyeglass prescription, minus two, for example, at axis 180. That's called simple astigmatism. So you can have a combination of myopia, hyperopia, and astigmatism. Um, so it gets a little confusing. Um, now the axis, the axis, which is always the last number, the axis of the astigmatism, can range anywhere from 180 uh, from 1 to 180, never more than 180. It can't be 181. It can't be 1, uh, you know, 190. It can't be 260. It can't be 360. Now, having astigmatism, it's no big deal. It just that you means it just means that your cornea is shaped like a football. That's all it means. Uh, I have a little of astigmatism. No one's perfect. I'm sure everyone has some sort of astigmatism. No, no one's cornea is completely spherically round. Um, it just means if you have astigmatism, it, it, in terms of eyeglasses, it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, but if you want contacts, you have to buy uh, contacts for astigmatism. They'll be a little more expensive. You have to pay more money for the fitting. Or you have to pay more money for the contact lens itself. So it, it, it doesn't really mean anything. You know, it just means they have to pay more for contacts. Um, all right, that's it.